what's up guys this is the IT Ranger and today we'll be making our seventh tutorial of Java development um in our last tutorial we actually well in our last three tutorials we actually been talking about making a GUI um and and making a GUI will actually help us in the far, the, the future in making our future programs um, a GUI is very significant when you're programming because you know you need a, a graphical user interface or something for the user to interact with. If you don't know how to make a GUI, the user can't interact with your program. I mean, you can't make it all in like in like code and line of words. I mean, you have to give the GUI something to to um, interact with, just like uh, the Windows operating system. You know, like right now, I have a GUI open, the Java Eclipse SDK. This whole window is a GUI. And the GUI is basically the graphical user interface. It's what I'm in, I'm interacting with. I'm clicking on file. I'm making new projects. So, and that's the only thing with GUI. But um, we're kind of going to um, get off GUIs now, and we're going to talk about um, something a little more with direct and Java code. And what that is is we're going to talk about today something called variables. And a variable is a is basically a a um it's a something you refer to in Java that can actually change and become something else it's something that's equal to like a, a double and well actually let's go ahead and start a program um so go to file new because i can kind of explain it better if we uh start a program so let's go file new and let's start a new java project and let's call this we're going to call this variables variables and variables and finish. All right, so let's go down to our variable folder right here. Let's right click on it, and you're gonna right click and go to new, and let's start a new class. And we're gonna call this class um, variables again. Var well, let's call it variable. Yeah, variable. Let's call it variable. So now we have a class, and we call it variable. And like we always do. Um, check the public static void main, which will give it our first our first method, and uncheck inherited abstract methods, and finish. All right, so now we have a new class, and what we created, and we called it variable. Um, the next thing we want to talk about, so let's talk about those variables. Now, with variables, variables are very significant in Java and in programming. Almost every program has a variable. There's almost it's almost impossible to actually write a program without a variable. And as we all know, a variable is something that changes or can change it, or can change to be something else. So in Java, we always use a, a variable whenever we're trying to get the user to ask when we're asking user for input and assigning it to um, something in our program. Just to give you an example, um, in Java there there are actually a bunch, there are different data types you can use. There's a double, a double, and then there's an int, which which in basically it, it stands for integer, and and the double is basically a, a number with decimals or or like a nine point two eight eight eight. That's a double. An integer is just a number that's an integer, just like your one two three four five six seven eight, like those numbers, irregular numbers, your whole numbers. Um, and next one um, we have a string. What a string is, a string is basically a, a line of code or a line of text that is um, a string or a line of words telling the user to do something or asking for some information or just assigning what the user says to a string variable. So let's go ahead and um, the first the first uh, variable we're going to use is we're going to use this double variable. Let's do double, um, double, let's do double number and so we just we just set a, a double we just set the number to a double a double variable and like I said before the double variable is a variable that that allows for a decimal number and can change so we see there we just have our double we set the double variable to number all right and the next one we're going to talk about is let's go ahead and um instantiate our integer so well you know what? actually let's go ahead and make an example out of the double so we have our double number here and now what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user what is number 
All right. So we're gonna ask the user what is number, and we're gonna say, well, hmm. Let's just say, let's just print out the number. So, in another, in other words, is when you wanna when you make a variable like double number, and if you want to set the number to like a specific number, what you have to do is, or if you wanna set any variable to something specific, you have to do number. As in our example, we have number for our double number equals uh, 5.6 number equals 5.6 so we just set the number variable the double variable number to equal 5.6 so just to show you how this works now if we want to show the user what our number is what we could do is we do system dot out system dot out dot print line and in order to get a variable to print out what you want to do is is basically type in the, the variable name so the double name is number let's type in number and enter and let's run it all right there we go as you see there we set our double number variable and we, the double is for a decimal and as you see here we set the numbers equal to 5.6 which is the variable and then we had the system to actually print out in the console or to the user the number and basically there it is 5.6 and 5.6 which is the number we set all right the next one we do is we want to um have our system we want to make a another variable just enter and we're going to call this one int like I said before, integer. So we're going to do an integer now. So let's do integer whole number. Integer whole number. And we're going to actually, we're going to set this um, whole number to, set it to, uh, e let's set it equals to five. All right, so now what we want to do is we basically want to add, um, we want our system to actually display the whole number variable to the user. So let's go ahead and make another system line. Let's do system dot out dot print line. And let's do whole number. So now we just told the system to app to print out um out to the console to the user a whole number variable which is equal to five. And a whole number integer which is equal to an integer five. So let's go ahead and run it. And while and well, there we go. So you see here we have 5.6, which is our double, our double number, which is number 5.6, and then our integer, which is our whole number, and the whole number is equal to five, and there is five. Alright. The next thing we're gonna do is the last one right right now, we're gonna do uh uh what words or it can be words or numbers. We're gonna do string na well name string name so we want to have a string that's called name and we're going to make the name equal to you have to add parentheses oh uh, you have to add quotations to let it know it's uh, actually words because the name equals the it ranger the it ranger and let's end it there we go so we just set the string name equal to the it ranger so let's go ahead and display this out to the user and tell let's tell the user what our name is let's do we're going to do system dot out dot print line my name is and go outside the parentheses and add a plus and this plus is going to conjoin the my name is with the name string so I'm going to do my name is and let's do a space there do my name is name and let's end it all right, so let's go ahead and run this. And what we're going to do is just going to just tell the user what the whole number is, what the number is, which we set to uh, 5.6. It's going to tell them what the whole number is, what we set to five, and it's going to tell them what my name is, which is name the name string, the name string which is equal to the IT Ranger. So let's go ahead and run this. Voila, there we go. So we see 5.6 um, right here, 5.6 is the number we had display out and then five which is the whole number we had display out and then my name is with this inside the string my name is and we did a plus which is conjoining the my name is 
to the name string or variable and it said my name is the IT Ranger which we set as the name equal to the IT Ranger in our string variable alright so today we just learned um, the basics or everything you know about variables and now you know how important variables are to your programs because um, variables will actually help you a long way from actually it will actually save you from writing a lot of code so basically you can instantiate what each um, which thing is by actually setting it to a variable so there you go the guy there you go guys that's your seventh tutorial of Java and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, watch my next tutorial and I'll catch you guys next time